What you learned yesterday is that the Bills have done exactly what they aim to do, and it is to be on the level of the Chiefs with additional pieces to be able to get them over the hump and be better than them at the end of four quarters. And that's where Von Miller comes into play. Because I read you off those stats and how similar Josh Allen's play was to Patrick Mahomes and how similar the offensive outcome was, how similar everything about that game was. But the biggest difference came down to what I have been preaching about this entire season and why I doubled down on it today. The reason this Bills team is currently 5-1, and one, number one in the AFC, and easily the odds-on favorite to win the Super Bowl is because of this defense. And yesterday, the guy that, the, that Brandon Bean and this management went out and got and said, screw it, chips in the table, we're spending the money, we don't care, we need that additional puzzle piece to complete the picture. Von Miller, we're bringing him in for this situation right here. And hopefully, you repeat it again when it really counts. But yesterday, Josh Allen's only sacked one time. Mahomes is sacked three times. Von Miller has two of those sacks. And on the final offensive play of the game for the Kansas City Chiefs, who's coming off the edge, completely disrupting the play, completely getting in the face of Patrick Mahomes, completely blocking his ability to see Teron Johnson coming out of the other side. It's Von Miller. Von Miller gets two of the three sacks and ultimately winds up forcing the game-changing play. The catalyst, so to speak, of this offseason that was supposed to round this team into being the best in the league has not only shown you all year that he is exactly that, but he showed you in the exact moment that he was brought onto this team to be that. And that, out of everything yesterday, you could have a list from your head to your toe of the things you take away from yesterday that just has you glowing as a Bills fan. But the one thing you got to feel the best about, I think, is the one thing that we didn't know was going to pan out until we got into this year. But we did know if it did, look out, this team is finally going to be that team that they've been this close to being the last couple of seasons. Von Miller. To me, he's the representative of what this team has been building towards to get to this point. We've talked about it time and time again. He is the final piece to the puzzle. And yesterday, he just so happened to be that final piece to put together the picture that painted a W. Him included, but ultimately this defense as a whole. You are looking at right now the reason why this Bills team in my, I mean, I, I just, I, I can't fathom anything differently right now. This team, it, it, it has to be Super Bowl. It has to be. You saw it. What you, I mean, you're seeing greatness on both sides. I saw a stat earlier. There's this, there's this account on Twitter. I think, I think he's called Stat Cowboy or something. Um, a great follow. He calculates the different betting markets based on how each team is favored from week to week. The Bills, based on these metrics, if they were to play any team in the NFL on a neutral field, it doesn't matter who the team is. If they were to play any team at any time on a neutral field, they would be favored by just under 10 points on average against every single team in the league. No other team in the league would be favored by more than a touchdown. Every other team, all 31 other teams, based on that average, would be favored by less than seven points. And it's because you're seeing something that is very rare in this league. The best offense and the best defense wearing the exact same uniform. And yesterday, I know that there was, there was plenty of things that you could take away from that game that we're just like, oh my God, like, and we'll get into it. Of course, the Isaiah McKenzie, the, 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 the flip 
I don't even know what to call it. I mean, good God, it gave me a stroke almost. I, I, I don't even want to think about it, especially knowing just how, if, if that game would have went differently, those are the things I'm talking about right now. I'd probably be on my 20th minute talking about that. And you know how much I love Isaiah McKenzie in general, but good God, yesterday that was just, it was egregious how bad it was. There's plenty of things yesterday that you can take away from that game and say, ugh, right? Well, when it comes down to the full 60 minutes, the better unit on either side did that just that much more to get it done. But the defense to me is what ultimately matters the most because on this team, we already know that if you got Josh Allen on the offensive side, you're going to have a chance to win no matter what when it comes to scoring points and the offense putting this team in a position to get the job done at the end of the day. But these other teams around the league don't have that in addition to a defense that can also be the complete difference maker in a game. And yesterday, you, and it's just you got a variety of different guys doing it. That's the glorious thing here. So we already spoke on Von Miller. And to me, I think that that, and you've seen it time and time again, it was the final piece to just bring all of this together. I mean, is it any coincidence that, that nearly the entire defense up until this point this year, individually, are having career years? I'm not saying it's all because of Von Miller, but you don't think that that was just a absolute massive forest fire type spark to this defense? It has to be. It's no secret that the whole defensive line is having by far the best year the Bills defensive line has had in God knows how long, and it trickles all the way back. And you got a variety of different guys making play after play. You got Kyir Elam, a rookie, a rookie. And this is what I, when I, this is what I mean when I say what the Bills and Brandon Bean have been working towards, building towards. You got the guy that Brandon Bean takes in the first round, what, three months ago, picking off Patrick Mahomes in the end zone. That never happens. And think about that game from a different light if that, if that play doesn't go that way. It's at least a field goal, and the whole game's different. Unbelievable play by a rookie in the biggest game of the year. And then Teron Johnson. And I saw going into the Kansas City game, and if you watched Rico's show last night when I hopped on and ripped back a shotgun, I mentioned this briefly. I saw some back and forth between Chiefs beat reporters and, and guys like me who do podcasts and then, you know, Chiefs fans and stuff. And they were talking about how it was advantage Chiefs because the Bills secondaries banged up and they don't have anybody that the Chiefs need to worry about. The disrespect towards some of these guys on the Bills defense that are not household names that nobody outside of Buffalo knows, it's unbelievable. You know, Matt Milano, yesterday, once again, what did he have? Three of the greatest open field tackles you've seen again? I mean, the dude's a sure, full-fledged all-pro this year. And if he's not, then whoever's in charge of that hasn't watched a down of Bills football. You got Kyir Elam making that play as a rookie. And then you look at Teron Johnson, who nobody outside of Buffalo knows. Nobody going into that game as a KC fan is worried about Teron Johnson altering the game. But that guy right there has made, what, three of the biggest plays now in franchise history? At least two. I throw in the one against uh, the, the Pittsburgh Steelers on, what was it, Sunday or Monday night football where he picks off Big Ben to seal the game. Massive but not nearly as big as these previous two. Quite literally made, arguably, a top three play in franchise history, picking off Lamar Jackson for the pick six uh, a, a few years back in the divisional route. When you go down the line of Bill's history and play the highlight, highlight reel, that is towards the top of the video every single time, no matter what happens. The rest of the existence of the Bills, that play. And then yesterday, in the biggest moment, when we've seen this movie before, right? Josh Allen puts together a masterpiece of a drive, hurdling guys once again, dime after dime, peeling down the field, an absolute laser in a bucket to Dawson Knox, who finally makes an appearance this year. But there's still time 
on the clock. If you're like me and you know the Bills and God knows you know the Chiefs against the Bills and everybody else in the league, you celebrated that touchdown about as, as fearful as you could. And then about a millisecond later, you paused, you sat down, and you said, God damn it, there's a minute left on the clock. And that's what I keep harping on when I'm talking about the greatness of this defense and why they are ultimately the biggest difference maker, biggest difference maker between these two units and between the rest of the league. A minute left, Patrick Mahomes, a lot of people are putting their money on him. Who could blame him? In two snaps in, you got Von Miller, the newest addition getting in the face of Mahomes, and you got Teron Johnson, a guy that I would I would venture to say 90% of Chiefs fans going into that game had no clue about, coming off the, the edge of your screen and robbing Mahomes, picking him right off, game, ball game. It's, it's, the, it's the next man up factor on this defense. It's the depth. It's the individual play that we've seen flourish. From almost every single one of these guys. Tremaine Edmonds off the injury yesterday leads the team in tackles. Teron Johnson. I mean, I don't have to say it again. I mean, you know, no, nobody's thinking about him until he, be, until he wins the game for you. Von Miller, of course. Jordan Poyer, yet again. And you, and you look at it up and down the personnel and what it wound up resulting in. And it resulted in holding the number one offense in the NFL to 20 points. This team has yet to allow more than 21 points in a game. The only time they allowed more than 20 in a game was the Dolphins game. Need I remind you the reason why that probably happened? And if you really want to break that down, it's even more impressive that they held them to 21 points regarding those circumstances, then it even more so proves my point based on the next man up, the depth, and the overall talent of this defense from guys all over the place.